It is a well-known fact that manures are an incredible way to fertilize your garden. Whether it is a mulch, whether it's an ingredient in the ground, however you want to use it, manures are incredibly good, fertile, build soil structure, and add a lot of microbes to the soil. But there is a nasty, nasty downside to manures that you need to know about. And this is what I do to check whether the manure batches that I get are tainted or not. If you want to add manure into your garden, into your raised beds, into your fields, there are two main things that you need to know that could set you back quite a long way, one more so than the other. And that is incomplete or incorrect composting. And the other, which is really not a great one, <laughs> is persistent herbicides and broadleaf herbicides that you find in the manures as residues from the animals grazing. Those two things can literally destroy a crop for a year, potentially even a few years. So there are some things that you can do to make sure that this doesn't happen to you. Let's focus first and foremost on the composting part because this is something that happens very often. Now what would happen is if you buy a batch of manures that has not been composted correctly, has not been aged long enough, you're going to find that the uric acid and acidity and nitrogen levels within the manure are going to be incredibly high. What's going to happen, you're going to burn the roots of your plants. That's one of the problems with chemical based fertilizers is too much burns them. The same applies with manures. Incorrect composting can also lead to that problem, but that can be corrected. And the solution to that one is super, super simple. If you go anywhere and you try and find some good quality manure, whether it's through a composting company, whether it's through a feedlot, wherever it is that you are getting your manures from, take a, a handful of the completed batch, put it in your hand and give it a good sniff. <laughs> if it smells like manure or it smells like urine, then it hasn't composted enough. It hasn't been aged and you are heading into a problem. If you grab a handful of this manure and you smell it and it smells like dirt, like soil, then you know you've got a good batch and it's been composted correctly. I always do that. I ask whoever I'm getting manures from to open up the bag, I give it a smell and I ask them, was all of this done in a single batch? Quite often they would say yes, because they do long strips of it. So it's seldom that you'd find mixed bags of different batches of manures. So do that, grab it, smell it, ask them whether it's from the same batch and you should be okay if you do that. The second issue you can face with manures is contamination. And this is by far the biggest threat to your soil structure, your soil fertility, and ultimately your soil health. This is why so many people don't use manures and quite honestly I'm not a fan of any of these YouTube channels and videos that say don't use manures, stop using manures. Anything that's that extreme really people shouldn't be doing that kind of content. Rather they should be focusing on solutions. Yes we should be using manures, we can be using them. We are reducing waste and we are adding an incredible amount of fertility and microorganisms back into our garden. But when are the instances when we shouldn't use it or should use it? There's always a solution. And I don't, I never like these blanket statements of stop using it, do not use it. It just doesn't make sense and it doesn't help you as the viewer. So I use manures, sometimes I don't. And this is how I tell. You'll see in front of me is a pot because I'm in an urban area, I'm renting, I can't go and turn this lawn into a vegetable garden as much as I would love to. I'm renting so I'm probably going to have to move on at some point. So I have 
container garden and all my fruit trees are growing in pots and I'm feeding my fruit trees with manures but I'm using the soil around the fruit trees as growing space as well and herein lies the solution. If you want to use manures take a few of your pots take one bed however you want to test it put on a good three to five centimeter layer of the manure on top as a mulch water it in nicely and plant beans or legumes these are broad leaf plants and most of the herbicides and pesticides that you find as residues are targeting broad leaves so if you have a tainted batch of manures you are not going to be getting beautiful big beans peas um, broad beans you're not going to get big leaves they're all going to shrivel up they're going to look all wilted and they're going to be skew and they're only going to grow about this high and then start dying or yellowing or just altogether stop growing they'll just not produce any beans or peas so you can see in this batch in front of me that these beans are incredibly healthy there are flowers everywhere they are green they have big leaves and they are grown in freshly mulched, mulched cow manure and this to me shows that the batch that I have or the supplier that I'm using is using good quality manure from I don't know feedlots or from farms where cattle are roaming in pastures that are not being sprayed the problem is as soon as they spray for broadleaf herbicides anything like that the digestive tract of the animals don't break down these chemicals they pass through into the manures you put in your garden and then that's done so moral of the story stop listening to the people who tell you to stop using manures don't do it use it test it first because if you can find a supplier and a batch that is going to give you this kind of growth in a couple of weeks then you are going to be way ahead of the people who are saying don't do it just stop using it it's too risky all of that as with all of my videos and my entire journey it's all about testing trial and error don't listen to everything that you see everything that you hear test it and try it for yourself and I'm sharing what I do with you so that you find ways that can, you can easily test it for yourself without having to go through the struggles of losing planting years plants beds all of that so step one pick up the manure smell it if it smells like manure walk away step two do a small container small bed with a nice thick layer of mulch water it in and plant legumes your legumes wilt up walk away go and look for someone else then if you do find that your legumes are wilting up because it's a small confined area rake up the manure that you put on top and just put it on the grass somewhere the grass is not going to have any problems with it but get it out of your veggie beds and that's it that's how you can easily test to make sure you have the best quality manure in your garden that is not tainted that is correctly composted so that you can grow an abundance of food wherever you are. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share it out to your communities and anyone else that you think would get value from this. Please subscribe. And if you want to join my channel, click on the link below. You can also give me a super thanks to show your appreciation for me sharing all my knowledge. And until next time, happy growing.